right now, what you're seeing are my various screens, right? So this is the game screen. Yep, that I'm uh, using. Yep. Uh, this is the uh, BlueStacks, right? And BlueStacks right now is running uh, a couple of apps at the same time. The app that is actually being run right now is called Bubble Translate over here. What Bubble Translate does is that it auto-translates uh, any kind of um, window right now uh, on it. Uh, and you could use standard mode that's suitable for most occasions. I'm using standard mode because it lets me uh, configure which area I want it to translate. And I could also um, like uh, set up to long click to switch translation modes and intervals of text translations. Uh, for most games, I set it to four because the translation mode that I'm set up right now uh, is very well. well Two seconds blinks are a little bit on the, uh, it's a little bit too fast, right? And four seconds is just about right for um, streaming, right? And I'm uh, just going to go here and uh, go and switch to my camera. And now that I've switched to my camera, I'm going to select this button and select the area that I wish for it to translate. So if I go over here and highlight this, so it translates this, that's correct. And um, this should automatically translate any text on here in uh, little intervals. As you can see here, it's trying its best to translate all the various little tidbits here, right? Uh, using uh, this and is doing its best but of course it is best used in uh, things that are uh, speech to text I'm going to go ahead and um, click uh, save here okay and yeah it'll say game data finish saving game data you want to continue playing click no And you can also see that little text down there as well. So there's a couple of things going on for those of you who, who don't know what's going on here. So I'm capturing the screen over here and outputting it onto BlueStacks and outputting the audio from the game over here. And the way I'm doing that is using an app right here called SplitCam. So if I open SplitCam, uh, what I do is that I am setting up the screen like so and I'm using um, because the output over here is 1280 by 896 I'm using the resolution here as 1280 by 720 so it is the least say distorted compared to uh, what it actually is so if I do that you can see that the output here has to be first off it has to be mirrored which is Simple enough. I need to uh, just right click here and say mirror and just pick the media uh, input right here as well to be mirrored as such. And the output and split cam, what it does is that it captures any kind of screen footage that you want and outputs it um, as a separate a virtual device, right? So um, yeah, just go look it up. It is. A free bit of software and uh, yeah the other thing that I'm doing is picking the audio mixer and adding uh, the, the media layers so for example I could share a window or share a game I'm sharing the window right now for uh, the uh, game that I'm playing so if I click this yep you can see that it's sharing that window and just basically move it around um, delete this. Wait, I'm deleting this media layer. Yep. Delete, please. 
Yeah, this this is completely just unscripted, unprepared stuff. And of course, you could also add the audio source from the application itself. So you don't get um, if you pick the source as my microphone, for example, it could actually translate the audio of my game as well. And the thing is, uh, one uh, thing that you need to remember is that after you set it up, you don't close it. You need to minimize it. And you could have a preview window up if you want to, but I'm just going to minimize it to save um, the space here. And of course, we have... Uh, that's my core temperature for my lap lappy. So right now, it's, it's burning up uh, a storm at 92 degrees Celsius. But of course, that's normal with gaming laptops. Yikes. But anyways, um, with that, what's going to happen is that this is going to output the video over here on the camera. But of course, you need to pick your cameras. So if you go to the settings here on BlueStacks and go to devices, pick the split cam video driver as your camera. And it should automatically output that camera onto the BlueStacks. And uh, with that, your image should automatically translate here. The thing about bubble translate though, um, I do believe it is a pro feature for auto translate. Otherwise, you need to just click it over and over. I'm not sponsored by Bubble Translate or anything. This is a paid feature of, of their app. That's the only downside. But the upside of this is that this is a... Uh, you could actually um, automatically translate at intervals. And this is probably the most... It's not the most accurate, but it is the only translation app that uh, you could actually... That you would be able to... Uh, how do I say this? It's the only translation app that um, you could do live uh, and you have to, uh, without actually having to go and click and take pictures. You could also use um, Google Translate. Um, that's the free app that anybody could use. And it, Google Translate is more accurate, but um, you need to switch between two screens here. The other app that you could use is Luna Translator, but uh, Luna Translator outputs the text into a separate window. And sometimes... It's not, um, it's great for things like visual novels, but it's not so great for RPGs where you want to see the text of the entire screen. So this, by far, Bubble Translate's the most accurate, quote-unquote, uh, thing that we could actually use right now. But now, the other thing that you might be wondering is that how do I get the speech to text up here? I'll need to minimize this. Um, give it to me. If I leave it to Kiraken, no matter how long it takes, IOS people won't be saved. So the Toshia's um, translation up there on the left is somewhat ac the, more accurate than the ones over here. Of course, not sponsored by Aeon either. Yeah, don't stand up, you two. Don't get so angry. But anyways, that's how that works. But how does this work? The speech to text. Well, I'm going to open up a separate window and bring it down over here. I get, I'm, I'm going to use... Let me, let me just see if I could pick the window here. So I'm going to link this in the description. But the URL for this... It's called Sayonari. Yep, Sayonari is an app that you could use um, uh, Google Translate just to translate the entire page to see it in English as well. What it does is that um, access the you can access the latest version over here as well. And there's an explanation video both in Japanese and in English. But the English commentary is with Gaming with Mim. So just go ahead and watch that video, right? It'll explain every single thing you need to do to get uh, speech to text uh, recognition working. And is there's things like, uh, how do you actually, uh, the, the, you need to use Google Chrome, but I'm not using Chrome, I'm using Opera, and I'm not sponsored by Opera, unfortunately. But when using translation, this is basically the tutorial, how to use the API to work, uh, but it is all explained in Gaming Mim's video, right? 
but uh, you could also um, use it offline using the dot, the dot bat, but this is a little bit more convenient online. But anyways, so basically set this up, save the window and I'll put it as a separate window over here. And for the microphone, yep, just manage microphones. Um, set your microphone to use the split cam audio mixer right here. And it will capture any in-game audio outwards. But yeah, that's pretty much how the text-to-speech translation works. And uh, hopefully, I'll make a more complete tutorial in the near future. But it's now time for us to switch to the PS2 screen here. And this is how I set up my output here with the uh, game footage out in front. Uh, the translation down here, nice and big, so that you get actually able to read it. And uh, yeah, if you want to help me, I mean, I'll just link to my socials in the pinned comments. Um, and if this was helpful to you guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe.